You want to use reels for your personality, your unique personality. So reels can help you stand out from the crowd for what you have to offer. Maybe you have a similar product as everyone else. Maybe you have a Bible study or a podcast or whatever, but there's only one you and only you can say it the way you can say it. And Reels is a way to show your personality and your products and shine and get those out there. Recently, I did a short training in my authentic Instagram engagement Facebook group on three reasons why you should be using Reels. No matter how you feel about it, Reels are here to stay. And I just want to encourage you that there is a way to authentically use this tool to your advantage. So in this training, I shared some facts you may not be aware of. So I want to ask you, to come with an open mind and see if maybe, just maybe, you should dip your toes into the water. At the end of the training, I shared a resource we've developed that can help. But first, listen in. I promise it won't hurt to just listen. Welcome to Authentic Online Marketing with Ruthie Gray. Growing awareness for your blog, podcast, book, or product involves more than dancing to reels and yelling, buy my thing. This show models quality over clamor so you can put your spin on your message and market in a way that feels authentic to you because nobody wants to sound like an infomercial. And now here's your host, Ruthie Gray. So number one, why you should be using reels. The momentum is just beginning. Reels are only going to grow from here. So the head of Instagram a couple of weeks ago, as you know, stated the app will be focusing on creators, videos, shopping, and messaging. For marketers, this is great news. In 2020, TikTok was the most downloaded new app. As of 2021, with new Reels features being implemented, Instagram is growing by the day. A survey conducted by Marketing Brew found that 87% of TikTok users agree that Reels are just as interesting as TikTok videos. How about that? This means now that Reels are becoming more central to the Instagram algorithm, we will see users shift from TikTok to Reels as well as see new Instagram users joining. It's blowing up. Number two, Reels gives your small business a platform. This is great news. Reels has their own algorithm. Just the Reels part of Instagram has their own algorithm. So you now have two channels of traffic you can direct to your product or business. Niching down is easy with Reels as you have the option to like videos for a more curated feed for yourself as well as everyone else can do the same and use hashtags so that your target audience can find you more easily. You can connect with your ideal customer through Reels. It's very targeted. Here's a quick tip. Don't use watermarks or low quality recycled videos. Instagram is not going to be pushing out those videos with the TikTok watermarks, or if they are low visibility, they're not really good quality. So Instagram loves Instagram. Again, I've been telling you that for years. (laughs) So use Instagram and their app for your reels. So the third reason, the final reason why you should be using reels is because you can do it. You can do it. Right now in the social media world, video is king. With a variety of users on Instagram spanning to ages 65 and even older, Reels has proven to be more user-friendly to learn than other social video platforms available. Now that may not seem right, but once you play around with the app, you realize It's pretty simple. It's not as hard and you can take it in levels too. This means if you're not tech savvy, you can still thrive on reels. There are little stages that you can take and little steps you can take 
to use Reels correctly. Learning what to post and integrating Reels into your posting schedule is actually more simple than you might think. People are just out there to snatch up the small tidbits and to be entertained, but also to be educated and inspired. So if you can do entertaining or educational or encouraging content, you don't have to be a comedian. You don't have to dance. In fact, it's not really, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that, that it really helps anybody to watch you dance. Even though we run our Instagram accounts and we started them with a vision in mind, we have to figure out how to serve our followers with them. Our account is about our, it's about our message, but it's about them and it's about how it serves them. So when a user lands on your platform, they want to know what's in it for me, not how can I buy her thing? Because if they don't know you, they're not going to buy immediately. So you have to think of ways to stand out from the crowd and share you, the person and your brand, because you are your brand. You have to find a way to do that to where you can start developing your own community and develop their trust. You want to use Reels for your personality, your unique personality. So Reels can help you stand out from the crowd for what you have to offer. Maybe you have a similar product as everyone else. Maybe you have a Bible study or a podcast or whatever, but there's only one you and only you can say it the way you can say it. And Reels is a way to show your personality and your products and shine and get those out there. I'm not saying do away with your photos and your graphs and things like that. I think there's a place for those, but I'm also saying we can't ignore this anymore. We can't, we just can't. So here's a tip. Here's a way to start. If you aren't using video at all, or you're hesitant to show your face, start with stories, just experiment with them. Watch my stories, see what I do. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can take a video. There are only 15 second frames and you can take a video of something that you're talking about. And then you can practice turning the camera around on you for 15 seconds. If you don't like it, delete it. So stories are a good way to start if you aren't used to video or showing your face. On that note, I do have also a seven day Instagram story challenge. It's free. You see a lot of people taking it. I'll share your frames and tag them in my stories. So there is that free resource too, if you're like starting at ground zero and you don't know what to do with video. So wrapping up, reels are the wave of the Instagram future right now. Short form video is even more popular than ever in our YouTube generation. I recently did a poll in my stories and overwhelmingly, the number one struggle users have with reels is surprisingly not even the tech, but it's coming up with ideas for how to use reels for their brand. For this reason, we developed our brand new resource from Ruthie Great on Mom called our Reels Crash Course. You can head to the show notes to learn all about it, but simply put, it's a step-by-step -step guide from posting your first reel to algorithm hacks to implementing reels into your processes and your posting schedule. It only takes an hour to get through at the most. All the links for everything today mentioned in today's podcast are at my website, ruthiegray.mom. And if you're listening in right now, you can pull up the show notes and just tap on that and go to the website and access all of those links, including the Reels Crash Course. So head over there and check it out. And remember, we've got your back for how to authentically market your product without feeling icky. Thanks for being here today. We appreciate you. Stay tuned for next week.